I don't like them. I'm against them. And in these conversations between me and people who work for Buhari, the president, it clearly states what my position is in any case. So there was just because they're not Muslims. I swear to God, if a Christian pastor, Buhari, no way to be found. No way to be found. So you, you Bashir and this other fool, you are defending your president? You're, you're lying about me to defend your president? Where is your president? Do you even know where he is? You don't even know where he is. Maybe you should go find him first and then defend him. Maybe because he's no longer alive. If he's dead, you're not going to get paid for defending him. <laughs> Hello. So the whole scenario is that President Muhammad Buhari, he died on the 19th of February. On the 19th of February, please, those analysts, if you can take notes, take pen and your paper and note these things down. Note them down carefully. I'll be giving a specific things here, specific details right now. Okay, number one, President Muhammad Buhari died on the 19th of February, the year 2017. He died in uh, Newcastle, in Freeman Hospital, Newcastle. He died as a result of heart problem, heart disease, which the Nigeria presidency failed to disclose. On the 19th of February, I was in London by the special grace of God. I'm a journalist. I work with one of the Nigeria um uh broadcasting station and uh, one of the leading nigeria broadcasting stations so i covered the event in london he died in freeman hospital newcastle i was there i covered the event then you know muslim they don't um um and bomb people so on the 20th on the 20th of uh february he was flew in to saudi arabia where he was buried i was there live and i covered the event where aisha buhari put on white attire i think you are with me go ahead so where aisha buhari put on white can attire you, and the, can you, and can, the you can you post can you post a bit can you post a bit and let, right. me, let me remind Nigerians and the entire world that this this event he said he covered. He have the video. He have sure, the video. I do. I do. Go ahead. I have all the video. So, so the Nigeria um, um, uh, Aisha was putting on white as a sign of mourning to her husband, who is the late President Muhammadu Buhari. Then the children, according to the Muslim tradition, were putting on black. I have the video, I have the photo, oh, oh graph and everything. You understand? Then on the twenty third, on the twenty third of February, I was in Ethiopia as a journalist. I moved around, so I was in Ethiopia where the Africa Union, the AU, hold a summit, a mini silent for late President Muhammadu Buhari on the 23rd of February, the year 2017. And yeah. you have the video. Exactly, I Go do. Ahead. Go ahead. So, I cover the events there where the Africa Union hold a mini silent for late President Muhammadu Buhari. So, to show their last respect to the late president Muhammad Buhari of the Nigeria government. Then on the uh, 28th, on the 28th of uh, February, see, which I think is the last day of February, then, uh, 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 what was it called? Um, Queen Elizabeth gave a condolence statement to the Nigeria uh, government in respect of late President Muhammadu Buhari and which went viral. Yes. So all of these, the Nigeria government led 
by late uh, uh, Abakari and uh, um, uh, with the Kaba swept under the carpet for for selfish and greed reasons. Then on the on the on the second of um, on the second of uh, March, uh, Eric Joyce the s british lawmaker eric joyce s british lawmaker he issued a statement that a condolence statement to nigeria for the loss of her president are you with me sir yes then then they swept it on that carpet and the man got angry to and came out to say that president muhammad Buhari is dead if President Muhammadu Buhari is, if they think he is lying, that they should come out to challenge him. You understand what I'm saying yes, now? Yes, that they yes, should, They should come out to challenge him in the court of law, that he will come out with every evidence to prove that Muhammadu Buhari is dead. As I talk to you since 2017, this meaning nobody, nobody, Nobody from the Nigeria government all across the nations of the earth came up to challenge Eric Joyce, the ex-British lawmaker. That went by. Then on April, April, April 17th, April 17th, uh, one um, American journalist by name, Mark Smith, he came up to to say that the corruption going on in Nigeria is unbearable, that he, he, he can only imagine how the Nigerians are surviving in that country, that there is corruption everywhere. You understand? So we just talked over all this. But what actually prompted me to come up to, to this tonight is, one, the Nigeria youth have been suffering eight, 60 years of independence, 60 years of suffering and smiling, and yet the, pre the government is taking them for granted. You were there yeah, and you so, followed everything. So when you came to Nigeria, they banned, so, they suspended you from, they suspended your faith. So, so I'm coming to that, sir. I'm okay. coming to that, sir. Let's not rush it. I then uh, let um, Abakari called me to Asorok. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So I flew into Abuja to go and see him. And he told me that if I can keep quiet, that my safety to be alive will be guaranteed. And for my generation to come, um, no, we suffer again as a result of the pride he was offering me. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So... I told him, accepting bribe is not the problem, but my conscience will judge me till I die. Yes. So I cannot do that. And to God who made me, I'm saying this categorically, and, and God Almighty is my witness. I did not take a dime from him. That at the end of the day, I was suspended from my work. You understand, as a so, journalist. Oh, can you pause a little bit, please? I know that this is very difficult, you know, when I'm, you know, uh, pausing you all the time. So, is it that because of the way you have actively tried to air this news was the reason why you were suspended and sacked or something? I wasn't sacked, sir. You I was sacked. suspended. Okay, you were su suspended. Okay. So, was it the reason? Was... was it the reason you were suspended? Yes. Okay. All right. Be Go because ahead. I I told them. I told them. I told them that i will publish i will publish it then as at that time i was receiving so many threats but the truth is this buhari is long dead in freeman hospital in newcastle in london on the 19th of february the year 2017 he's dead buhari is dead he was buried in saudi arabia nobody can Tell me that he was, that he is still alive. Buari, that I know, if you look, you know, when Una de Kano came up, you understand, they said that he's talking rubbish. I am not, I have never met Una de Kano on face to face. He has never, he don't, he doesn't even know me. He doesn't even know whether I'm fair or black. He doesn't know me. 
and I've never given him anything. He has never given me anything. You understand? Uh, but the truth is, as a journalist, I saw an oath to stand by the truth at all times. Hmm. Irrespective of what may be at stake, I swore an oath and to God and, and, and now, to humanity. And now you no longer work with this uh, television station. And now, because of what is going on in Nigeria, you are ready to shatter the table. If I am not answerable to any Nigerian authority, yeah. you understand? Now, when I was suspended, I was waiting if my suspension would be lifted. I, I waited for a period of six months. My suspension was not lifted. Then I resigned. I sent them my resignation letter. Then I left. I started my my own friend by myself. You understand me now, which I am growing by the special grace of God. You understand what I'm saying? You know, sometimes when you are when you are in the field, when you are in the field, the way this Nigeria politicians, the way this Nigeria story goes, you know, sometimes it will go up and go down. Some people will, may not be, you know, getting the point. Some people may not understand, you know, why would you go to France? Why would you do this? You know, but when a journalist who is like, you know, dealing with all these politicians in Nigeria and you want to be the person to have the first-hand information of whatever that is happening. And especially when you, have, you, are, you are out of the game, especially from the Nigeria space, and now you want to be, you know, you, you, know, you want to have first-hand information of what is going on. You know, sometimes when something like this happens, of course, you can fly to anywhere just to get the information and get the first hand information, you know, to, to have it in your in your own space. But anyway, sure. I must I must thank you very much. This is the first time you are talking to anybody about this. Yes. This is the first time ever you are talking to anybody about this. Uh, we are going to continue our discussion. It is not going to be online. It is going to be it is not going to be live. Hey. All right, everyone, this is where we end the program today. Thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. But first of all, I want to appreciate everyone that will be watching my YouTube channel. And if it's your first time of coming across our program, why not pause this video to subscribe to our YouTube? There are a lot of amazing videos that are waiting for you. For those that have been watching my videos and commenting and sharing my videos, I want to use this medium to appreciate you all. Thank you very much. See you on our next video. Until we meet again, stay tuned with Plan B TV. Peace out.